If you're pregnant, you might have Googled essential pregnancy products. I know that I did a whole bunch of Google searches about that when I was first pregnant. And you know, a lot of the things that you'll find is like shea butter or special oils for your belly to prevent stretch marks, different things to, you know, combat morning sickness. All of those are great. You know, most of the lists that you'll find online share very helpful items, but they're all pretty similar. So I thought that I would share some of the items that aren't as, as commonly listed. Um, let's see. Okay, so one of the things, let me grab it, a silk pillowcase. So pregnancy can be really frustrating, right? We're bloated, we feel nauseous. Some of us feel nice and glowy. Some of us just feel like sweaty and gross. It's like adding insult to injury when we wake up in the morning and we have like all those red wrinkles from our pillowcase. Enter a silk pillowcase. When I finally started using a silk pillowcase, my face was still puffy in the mornings. I still didn't look that great, but I no longer had all those lines. And this is totally an old wives tale, but apparently sleeping on a silk pillowcase helps to prevent wrinkles. I don't think there's any science behind that, but I'm going to pretend that that is true. Uh, brand, this is the Yana Best, Yana Best brand. Um, you can find it on Amazon. It's 600 thread count, 100% mulberry silk, super affordable. Um, they come in different sizes. This is the super big king size, different sizes. It has the invisible zipper, which is nice. I can be kind of a, a wild sleeper. Here's the brand. There we go. Oh, it's, yeah, anyways, yeah, the best. Um, I'm a wild sleeper and if I'm moving around a lot, if I don't have a pillowcase that zips up like this, I end up sleeping on the like funky uncovered pillow. So that's really nice, Yana Best silk pillow. They have some different colors or at least different shades of white. Uh, check them out on Amazon. All right, what next? Okay, so a 40 ounce metal water bottle. So of course you've heard, drink more water, drink more water when you're pregnant, which is so important. Water is crucial for so many of the functions that are going on in your body, baby's development, all of the amniotic fluid. You need more water. For me, I am much too lazy to go and fill up eight cups of water, eight to 10 cups of water each day. So having a 40 ounce, I have a giant, where's my water bottle? A giant metal water bottle, post a picture of it up here, uh, that's 40 ounces, so that's over one liter right there. So I fill it up in the morning, try to finish it by 11 or 12, fill it up again, drink that for the next couple hours, and then fill it back up once in the evening. That's over three liters of water. That's more than enough water, and it's so easy for me to drink that water when I have that massive filled water bottle. So in my opinion, it makes it a lot easier to get more than enough water throughout the day. And then the metal water bottle is awesome because it cancels out all of those potential dangers from plastic water bottles. Even if you're using a reusable plastic water bottle, there could still be toxins leaching into the water. So I'm a big fan, metal water bottles. All right, okay, silicone popsicle makers or the molds, whatever you wanna call them. So sugar was my Achilles heel during pregnancy. I craved sugar so much. And when I would give in to it via like daily trips to the frozen yogurt shop or candy, I would get really puffy. My weight gain would shoot up. I would get this like knowing look from my OB. Like, I know you're eating too much sugar. My Eric, he would give me judgy looks. It's very irritating, but they were right. All of that sugar is not good for me. So around the third trimester, I started to make my own popsicles, which of course is not exactly the same as like full fat, full sugar ice cream or something, but it did the trick. And so in the popsicle molds, I would usually do like Greek yogurt sweetened with honey and some fresh berries, freeze those. And it was a great, healthy, sweet treat. Um, if you crave chocolate, something that I would do when I was craving chocolate is I would mix uh, cocoa powder and honey into the yogurt and it was like a, a chocolate pop. And it's also more affordable than buying popsicles from the grocery store. And 
like the healthy ones are usually more expensive. The ones that aren't as expensive usually have all sorts of weird ingredients that might not be great for you. So the cool thing with making your own is you know exactly what is going into that popsicle. Uh, okay, here's one you probably did not expect. Okay, an Audible account. So if you haven't heard of it, Audible is, I think it's owned by Amazon, I'm not positive, but it is essentially the go-to place to get audiobooks. Like all of the most recent books are on there. Uh, you can get an account, which is what I do because I'm constantly listening to audiobooks. But what I would do during pregnancy is I would get uh, audiobooks from Audible, like really addictive ones, like like cheesy, like romantic mystery murder all of that good stuff, but I would only let myself listen to it if I was exercising. So if I was like really craving to know like who caused the plane crash or whatever, I would make myself go on a walk or put on one of my cheesy exercise DVDs or something. And it was a great motivator to get me moving and it helped distract me from the fact that I was exercising. So usually I would walk longer, I would exercise a little bit harder. So audible.com. Okay, uh, peppermint essential oil. So this is something that you might have seen on some of the essential pregnancy items lists. Um, a peppermint oil, at least for me, was amazing to soothe nausea. So what I would do is I would keep a bottle of peppermint essential oil by uh, my bedside. And I also had like a little essential oil roller with peppermint oil in it that I would keep in my purse. And anytime I would start to get those waves of nausea, I would just sniff the, the peppermint essential oil, maybe put some on my pulse points and it usually worked. I mean, of course, eating a few crackers, drinking, sipping on some water can also help as well. But that peppermint essential oil was a life changer, especially if I wasn't in a place where I could eat. Okay. I have to do this one. I have to. Shameless plug for my book, Feng Shui Mommy. It's a very comprehensive guide to pregnancy, childbirth, and the fourth trimester, which is those first three months of baby's life. Um, it's hard for me to um, brag about myself, but I, I wrote it with the intention of being inclusive of all women. So this is not the type of book that, that shames somebody for, you know, wanting a cesarean birth or an epidural. Um, but it's also something that can definitely support women who want an unmedicated birth. So it's a book for everybody. I love everybody, regardless of what type of birth they're wanting to have. Um, I've heard from women that it's not preachy, that it's even kind of funny. So Anyways, I think that is a great tool for pregnancy. You can find it on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, all those shops. Okay, what next? All right, an amazing childbirth prep class. So while, you know, books like mine are so great to start giving you all of the knowledge that you need, having a more like hands-on class where you're watching somebody like demonstrate pressure points or you're connecting with other pregnant women and hearing their questions, maybe things that you didn't think about can be so incredibly helpful and it can build community. Um, I have an online childbirth prep class. The link is in the description below that, um, I think is great. It's based on my book and that's nice for women that maybe live in an area where there aren't a lot of classes available or if you live in a rural area and you have to drive a long way to get to a class, that can be a great option. Um, but if you're in a, a city or you know a town that has hypnobirthing classes, um, I also love the birthing from within method. I really encourage taking an in-person class because there's something really special again about being in community with other women, um, other, you know, your, your partner can connect with other partners. Or, you know, if, if you're going through a lot and you want more, you know, one-on-one -on -one support, you can also take a private class. And so you're there in person with the instructor and you can go really deep. But I, I think a childbirth prep class is so essential. There's so many different methodologies out there. I really, you know, recommend doing your homework with it and finding the one that you resonate with. Hypnobirthing and birthing from within are not the only ones, uh, but I think it's 
such an amazing investment. All right, witch hazel wipes. So these are essentially wet wipes that are soaked in witch hazel. And these are miracle workers on hemorrhoids. So some women, they don't experience hemorrhoids until after they push that baby out. Some women, like myself, experience them. I think like the beginning of my second trimester is when those little beauties started to appear. They're itchy, they're painful, they're gross, and I'm gonna get real gross right now. Um, something that happens with hemorrhoids, especially if you have external hemorrhoids, which are essentially swollen blood vessels that are coming out of your anus, it's really easy for poop particles to get stuck around them and then that leads to an itchy bum which is awful. So the witch hazel wipes can help like get in all those crevices and the witch hazel helps to minimize pain, itchiness, and swelling, which are the three most irritating things about hemorrhoids. So witch hazel wipes will be miracle workers for you. Um, <laughs> Finally, a battery powered fan. So I know these look super cheesy, but if you are pregnant in an area that is hot, that's humid, if you're pregnant during the summer and you're out and about, it can be really easy to get overheated. And if you're not in a place that has AC, it can feel so nice to whip that battery powered fan out of your purse and cool yourself down. There's also some that have little misters, which I love. Something else that I have to add, even though I know this is on every single essential pregnancy item list, is a body pillow. Um, I think the brand that I have, it's like Leech Co. The Snoogle, and it's kind of like this like C-shaped pillow that is heaven. It supports your head, your neck, your back, your butt, your legs. It helps to get your hips aligned. I still use it. I had my son six and a half years ago and I have slept with that pillow every single night since. I just wrap my silk pillowcase along the top of it. So I have the silk at the top. It's like being hugged all night. It is amazing. That's, those are most of the items that I can think of that changed my life during pregnancy. I would love to hear what your essential items are.